If you're thinking of a job in real estate photography, uh, I would say definitely check out your local competition before or diving headfirst into it. Again, if you if you look online, um, I, I just went to F Stoppers and typed in real estate, and there's quite a few videos and tutorials. In fact, it goes on for ten pages uh, of like how to shoot high end luxury real estate or um, starting your real estate or luxury real estate or um, lighting for real estate or architecture versus uh, real estate. You know all this kind of stuff. It seems like there's a lot of opportunity to be a real estate uh, photographer, and and there's difference differences between real estate photographer and uh, architectural photographer. There's also differences between uh, the, the budgets that certain clients have. And also it'll be different in different countries, different cities, um, different um, towns, as it were. So it's, uh, it's not the same. So what, what one person's success story or advice may not be the same um, going anywhere else. So uh, I thought, <clears throat> because over the next wee while, next, over the next year, I'm actually training... Uh, agents to become photographers, to become real estate uh, photographers and it's just, it's so shocking how bad some some property photography is in the UK. So what I say is like, th there could be the case that oh, there's this total opportunity for if you're good at taking photos that, uh, and if you're good at taking property photos then uh, you are, you, you can totally rule your local area for property photography. However, it seems like people are seem to be fairly happy with just utter guff photography. Let's um I'm gonna talk about maybe the Highlands. So let's go to Aviemore uh in the Highlands of Scotland. We'll do a little um map view but let's just see hmm, there's not not a lot of properties. Let's see is there a way where I can go to the map. And I'll try and look for the most expensive versions here. So here's a five bed. This actually looks like it might be quite good. Five bed, four hundred thousand pounds. <sighs> okay, not not the best um, exposed. We have an angle there. Somebody's tried HDR there. <clears throat> okay, not the worst. Fairly well presented property. Uh, yeah, that's, that was looking quite nice. Uh, yeah, so, so they've got some nice shots there. But nothing, nothing particularly special there. Floor plan. Yeah, they've done a tiny floor plan. No video uh, going on there, but that might be an additional thing that you could do there. So that's that's one. Let's let's have a little look for bigger and more expensive. Oh, ho, 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 ho. didn't take long. Didn't take long uh, to get some good shots here. Okay, so here... We've got a four hundred and twenty thousand pound bungalow uh, property going on here. Um, so four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two reception rooms. First shot that you come into, what? I, just what? How? If if somebody came up to me and said, "Could you replicate this angle of the room?" I'd be like, "I have no idea how they've managed to get it both at an angle and bending out the ways." Uh, there, that's that's pretty special, uh, and and there's a nice shot from about as low as you could go in there. Uh, the re the rest are just all fairly, pretty dull shots. There. And yeah, okay, they've got a shot with the door open um, going on there. I would have taken the cloth off there, maybe the used up bog roll. I like it, or have they tried to put that into a triangle? Even though it's like, just take away the toilet roll, don't need that. Great angles again. Great. Like some photographers will be minutely pernickety about the tiny issues. <laughs> what angle is that going at again? I have no idea. Like cool house. So it's not a bungalow. Got that whole kind of cine room, cinema room upstairs, looking nice. But uh, oh yeah, nice reflection in the mirror there. Good, good work. Make sure you're in the shot. Going on. It's like it's like they just can't stand straight. Some of these people. So yeah, four hundred and twenty thousand pounds, and the first image once you go inside 
is that superb. Let's let's look for more. This one I'm hoping is going to be quite good. This one is s nearly seven hundred thousand pounds, and it looks like it's going to be a cool house. Let's see. Okay, externals looking fine. And oh, this is a nice house. Okay, good. Irvin Irvin Geddes Geddes. Uh, yeah, uh, you wouldn't complain about that shot. That was a shot of looking down from top, but good. We've got straight lines. They've got a well exposed. Maybe colours a bit off on that one, uh, but otherwise they got all right. Oh, they did go quite hard on the flash. Quite strong in the flash there, but otherwise uh, nothing really to complain of there. They've got all the shots. Oh yeah, very, very cool house. Like that one. Okay, yeah. So seven hundred thousand pounds. Um, that's, that's not looking too bad. Let, let, let's check for more. Here's one that looks quite interesting. It's got video as well. Straight off, first photo that you come up to, you're like going, okay, they, they were obviously proud enough to actually uh, watermark this shot. I'm looking at it as going, this looks like a cool house. Cool design, cool bit of architecture. Going for some solar panels on the roof. Looks like there's going to be a a wood burning stove inside or something. I'm liking liking what this place looks like, um, but straight off first angle, mm, not quite straight. Okay, let's see. Let's see the next shot. Brilliant, brilliant shot. So maybe trying to go a bit arty there by being what was the shot from? Is that like from a dog's point of view <laughs> from from a toddler's crawling along the floor they must have actually had the camera on the floor to take that photo it is the same height as halfway up the first step and at an angle that's brilliant <laughs> yeah so if this is and again <laughs> <laughs> Do you just rock up to this house drunk, just kind of going, I'm just going to take a photo and just snapping away any old direction going on there. That's, that's wonderful. Uh, good, they got the lights on. Um, interesting angle, again, with kind of a third of the shot taken out by a wall, kind of looking into... Is, I'm guessing that's the ensuite. That's that's an interesting interesting angle. Maybe they just like, okay, so we can see them. Uh, they're crouching down nice and low. So that, again, they're shooting from an angle which is below sink height. So you can't see even see the top of the sink. So they are shooting with the camera just above toilet height. I like how they left the toilet roll right at the top there as well. Like this this is a lovely house. This is a yeah. There's the wood burning stove. Uh, this is shiny. I'm not a fan of the shiny floor and the funky blue lights, but this is a very nice house. And what is this angle? What is this angle? This is an angle of a wooden post also falling over the side. Wait, have they all been leaning over to the left? Uh, yeah, that was really over to the left. That was a wee bit over to the left as well. So this person really has got a bit of a left. Maybe they've got one leg shorter than the other. <laughs> Again, the view from what are they doing? Are they holding it at the ground level to get that shot? Brilliant, brilliant, loving that. Just okay, you're showing off how the rooms are connected to one another. You got the doors open, well done, but that's a terrible photo. Ah, uh, interesting, interesting angle. A lot of that bathroom. Oh, when arty, show you the wardrobes. To, to that. I'm thinking this guy might have actually been crawling around and just looking around to get photos of it. Good shot. Like, they are crouching pretty hard and being in the reflective uh, wall there. That's good. Okay, that angle, I can't complain about that. That's that's the stairwell. But, uh, what? <laughs> that's, that's a shot from inside the shower. That is a shot of the... Shower curtain. <laughs> Good one. Good. Brilliant. Good Good enough to watermark. Fantastic. Oh, and the video. Yeah, I want to see. Let's see what they've got for a video. 
exceptional, high specification, detached villa. Let's see how this video goes. Before we get done for copyright. Oh no! Oh no! It's not a video! Oh god, it. Oh! Listen to the music. Loving it. But. Oh no, it's not a video. It's literally just a slideshow. An animated slideshow of really bad photos. Hold on, it goes on for five minutes. Oh, there's a video! <gasps> they are! We're doing a, a door opening! With a wobbly camera. Clearly didn't have a tripod. And then, okay, I think, I'm guessing that's a little bit of video there as well. From on top of the table. Again, perfect shot. Gotta show that one off. Superbly appointed piece of wood in the middle of the room. And a wall. Yeah, so they have actually done video here as well. The video the video shots seem to be a little bit straighter than the photo shot, which is bizarre because in the photos you <laughs> look at that angle. In photos you're able to straighten quite easily in uh, Photoshop. You're dealing with like 20 megapixels at a time. You can crop and straighten very easily, but when you're doing it with um, video, uh, you're usually with like just 1080. And then let's see goes toilet roll nice running water tap I think they had they might have had that in slow-mo as well have we got a second running water tap oh hold on was this here no that was just a photo there again reflected in their spinning shot nice Five minutes. Oh, look at the graphics at the end. So <laughs> that is the quality of property photos and videos that we're getting in uh, in uh, in Scotland and the UK. Meanwhile, well, like over in America, this guy's like, "Hey, I'm shooting this like uh, really cheap one. It's only a million dollars." Uh, so it only costs like only charge like a thousand dollars to shoot this, um, and he'll have like days and nights and drones and all that kind of stuff, and maybe that's his clientele. But in the UK, you know, okay, we're talking about different. Look at that! Look at that! So, so whenever you see these videos from these people out here, don't necessarily go, oh yeah, I could totally do million pound houses as well, because it seems like a lot of people think they can get into photography, even get into property photography, and they end up taking shots like that. Should we, should we try and find any more as good as that? Another one. Where, where, where was it? Maybe, maybe we should just try, what was it? Boomfield Photography or something. Boom, your local online estate agent. Should we have a look, see what, see if they've got any more. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're going for £77,000 house. Look at that angle. Straight away. Shot from a spider's point of view. You need to know that. You need to know that angle. Great. Kitchen. Bathroom. Bath Again, shot from the ceiling. <laughs> like it's a spy cam watching you shower. Interesting. Again, angles. Good shots. Oh, spy. Is that the same bathroom? Is that the same bathroom? Another, I think that might be... <laughs> I don't know. There's a... There's a cup there, maybe a window ledge there, and it's got so two shots of the bathroom, both from spy cam angles. Interesting, God, in interesting. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, as as sometimes as a photographer, when you go up to properties. If I'm there with uh, landlords or even tenants, I'll go in and I'll say, I can't shoot that room. Or I'll say, can you move all that stuff off the bed? Can you get a bag or a bucket and just pour all these teddies off and just put them into another room? That is 
that's ridiculous. <laughs> Eye catching, yes, ridiculous, more so. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 a good angle. That was a good angle. Look at that angle straight away. Oh, was it boom? Is it boom media? Let's. I think these guys might be pretty special. Let's see. See all properties for sale from this agent. Come on, let's see some expensive ones. Here's £230,000. Looks like one of the more expensive ones. Again, shot from near top of door level, looking down, interesting angle. Again, not quite straight. Uh, again, shot looking down, not quite straight. Really from spy cam, spider shot. Angles, angles. There's just so much going in that photo, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Floor plan. See, it looks like a fairly standard, basic house. Okay, one shot, I'll give them that. Ah, even better, shot of the photographer in the mirror. Fantastic. Oh, I could do this all night. I'm not going to do it all night, but just to like, yeah. If any of you are wanting an interesting laugh, check out uh, Zoopla is if what you, you would use if you're looking at uh, properties in the... Oh, it's one of the sites that you could use to look at properties. And you can just draw your search and it'll tell you the kind of properties that are there. And you can click on it and you can see just the quality of material that's been put out there. And if that's what agents are willing to do for half million pound properties, don't be expecting to rock up there going, hey, I've got a thousand pounds a day uh, charge for your million pound house. You ain't getting that work whatsoever. In Scotland, doesn't seem to be going that way.